Hey everyone, it's Mickey Made It, and I'm excited to introduce you to Inspired by Dreams, my preppy streetwear brand. See, this line is all about blending the classic and the contemporary, bringing you stylish pieces that are unique as your dreams. So whether you're hitting the streets or just chilling out with your friends, our collection offers the perfect mix of sophistication and urban edge. Join us in redefining streetwear fashion and let your style be inspired by dreams. Check out our latest collection and become part of the dream today. Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy, Nikki Fenty, AKA Nikki Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, like and share the video. You know, it helps the channel grow. And if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And that's dreams with three Z's at the end. Okay, so now, I wanted to bring this this um, episode to you guys. Remember I told you guys about, you know, people just running into other people's establishments and they're having these smashing grabs and the crime is just, you know, it's rising like um, gas prices. But what I have to show you right now is not just the crime in itself, but it's also the age of the person that's committing this crime. Maybe I talk a little too much, but let's just jump right in and see what's going on. I alert tonight after a group of thieves began targeting them in the middle of the night. This string of car thefts has now prompted a multi-jurisdictional investigation. Dealerships in Clinton Township, Roseville, East Point, and St. Clair Shores have all been targeted in this most recent auto theft surge. So far, one person, a 14-year-old, has been arrested in connection with these crimes. 7 News Detroit reporter Peter Maxwell spoke with the owner of Envy Auto Group, who says more needs to be done after his business was struck. Number one, 14 years old is not an age that a kid should be thinking about stealing a car. You don't even have a license. You don't even have a permit yet. That's because thieves broke into this showroom, which has hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of luxury vehicles, and took off in a $65,000 BMW, and now the search is on for the rest of the suspects. We feel violated and unsafe in our own backyard, and this shouldn't be happening. That's First of all, not only are you not thinking, but this is not the movies when you bust a car through the glass window is just easy. The whole window and the whole, every, all the glass broke down. And number one, does that that's gonna trump up the charges when you guys eventually get caught. Cause you know you're gonna get caught. They already, I think they said they nabbed one or something like that. One of them already, 14 years old. Off in a $65,000 BMW. And now the search is on for the rest of the suspects. We feel violated and unsafe in our own backyard and this shouldn't be happening. That's a BMW driving right off the showroom. I want y'all to take a look at the guy in the corner with, um, not the one that broke out the window, but take a look at the guy that's just sitting there in the other, I guess the Ferrari that is, and he couldn't even get it open. You know, like, what do y'all do? We feel violated and unsafe in our own backyard, and this shouldn't be happening. That's a BMW driving right off the showroom floor, but not just any. It's the owner's, and he's had the car since he opened up Envy Auto Group 13 years ago. He specializes in finding one-of-a-kind, high-end luxury sports cars from Ferraris, Aston Martins, and Bentleys. And it's got major sentimental value. Crime is skyrocketing. All for material things, things that don't even hold no worth, things that all you have to do is work hard and you can achieve these things. These are things that's not even... <sighs> Violated and unsafe in our own backyard, and this shouldn't be happening. That's a BMW driving right off the showroom floor, but not just any. It's the owner's, and he's had the car since he opened up Envy Auto Group 13 years ago. He specializes in finding one-of-a-kind, high-end luxury sports cars from Ferraris, Aston Martins, and Bentleys. And it's got major sentimental value. He went through a few car shows and saved up all the prize money to get that car. You can see the car thieves circle the dealership. Then they take a stolen Jeep and ram right through the garage door. Then so this is what I mean by like um, the crash and grab, like just, you know, crashing the car in, into the establishment or the business or the store or whatever. And you're crashing the car in there not knowing that you can get hurt on the first crash. But hey, we're going to leave that out because you made it past that part. But after that, you mean to tell me that you're gonna crash the car into the place, you can't get the place open, and look at you, you gotta run now and scoot down the block with a crashed car. Come on, 
on y'all y'all gotta do better than this the crime is at an all-time high and communities we're, it's, it's cr making everything just fall to shreds crumbling everything man come on you guys and it's got major sentimental value he went through a few car shows and saved up all the prize money to get that car you can see the car thieves circle the dealership then they take a stolen jeep and ram right through the garage door then six people start looking for the keys once they find the box, they scattered onto the showroom floor, the alarm blaring in the background. Two thieves then jump into the BMW, the others scatter off. The BMW then crashes right through the window. The owner of the BMW recovered it in Detroit. The car is damaged beyond repair. These thefts not only impact the victim, but it also impacts everyone's insurance rates. One of the main reasons why premiums and comprehensive coverage for auto insurance is rising steadily. Palazzolo is just grateful, and so is Michael Kassab, the owner of NV Auto Group, that no one was hurt or even killed. It could have been so much worse, and with all of the value of the cars. Y'all are risking your life for things, and they 14 years old, so that means the rest of the crew can be nowhere anywhere from 14, 14 and early 20s. It could have been so much worse, and with all of the value of the cars that are in here, only one of them ended up getting taken. Um, it still doesn't make it right. It's still very frustrating. Now, if you do have any information as who these individuals are, you're asked to call the Macomb County Auto Theft Task Force. Reporting in St. Clair Shores, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 News Detroit. You guys make sure you um, stay tuned. I got a lot more coming today. I'll have a lot more drops dropping. And um, yeah, man, it's just crazy out there in these streets, man. The crime, the crime rate is like rising all over the world around different places. And it's all due to these same situations. Just people taking from other people. They have no right to and nobody wants to work hard. They just want to go out there because they see other people doing it, not understanding the consequences behind these crimes. So until next time, it's your boy Mickey Made It.